Hello creatives, I'm Joanna Penn from thecreativepen.com and today I'm talking about how you can find time to write in a busy life because this is probably the number one question that I hear from authors and something of course I have to deal with in my own life which is where does the time come from? Because let's face it, we all have the same number of hours in the day and between, you know, the day job which I know most people have with the family, you know, dealing with the kids dealing with the house you know and the time in between you should be doing some exercise or paying those bills or seeing your friends or dealing with your parents or your family uh, you know maybe just getting outside there are so many things that we have to fit into our life that writing can be difficult so in this video I'm going to talk more about some tips for how to find the time to write so I think the best tip comes from Toni Morrison who said, write at the edges of the day. And the question is really, where are your edges? So for example, when I wrote my first four books when I was working full-time as a consultant in Australia, uh, I would get up at 5am and write before I went to work because once I was at work I pretty much didn't have any brain space left for anything creative. So I would get up at 5, I would write till sort of 6, 6.30 and then do the getting ready for work thing. And I do that, you know, three times a week. Um, I definitely like my sleep so that was always a bit difficult and writing before doing anything else was very effective for me. Now I'm a morning person so if you are a night person you might find um, that you write in the evening late maybe after the kids have gone to bed maybe after your partner's gone to bed um, and I certainly know a lot of writers who are night owls and who prefer to write in the hours when other people are not up. So either one of these you will be giving up potentially some sleep. And that is another point is what are you going to give up in order to make time to write because if you're like most people you have already filled the edges of your day with other things. So some of the other aspects you can do, so I decided uh, at the time, and this was before Netflix when I wrote my books, but we decided to give up on the TV. So, uh, or even you could think about just giving up an hour or so of TV. If you love your TV and it's your relaxation time, maybe instead of watching two hours, you can just watch for one hour and then spend the other hour in your writing. Another thing is the lunch hour at work. Now, of course, the lunch hour is probably a myth <laughs> these days in that most people will eat on the run or eat at their desk. Um, but this is where you have to decide what's more important. Could you, for three hours a week, uh, you know, go out of the office, find a coffee shop away from where your colleagues might be and write? Or could you go to a library? Uh, could you find a space or even book a meeting room if that's your situation to do that? Uh, I have a friend who has a lot of children and she keeps her laptop in the kitchen so because she spends a lot of time in the kitchen and she will write at the edges of moments. She's writing one line at a time in between the kids running around uh, like crazy little people. <laughs> so these are ways that you can start to edge in writing time. I've talked before about dictation, so for example, you know, keeping the dictaphone with you. If you commute, uh, the commute can be a fantastic time for writing. Um, my friend Mark Dawson, who is a very successful indie author, wrote his first, I think, nine books uh, commuting on the train. He would, uh, two hours each way every day into London, he would write and you can get a lot of books written if you write on your commute. Of course, if you're driving, then dictation is a really good option. Obviously not if you're actively speeding down the motorway, uh, but there are certainly ways you can incorporate that into um, your day. Even if, for example, you try to get in early, spend 10, 15 minutes in the car, uh, you know, just recording a bit. I think the main point is to have a look at your schedule and figure out, you know, okay, I don't need to have a four hour block of time in order to work on, on my book. If I have 15 minutes, if I have half an hour, if I can carve out an hour here, um, then I can get some words down. So once you've had a look at your life and maybe figured out ways you could edge in a bit of time, then it's all about scheduling. So I use Google Calendar on the iPhone and I find it just really amazing because 
what you need to do is actively schedule that time to write. Now, I know for some people that might be difficult, but do you schedule your um, doctor's appointments in? Do you schedule your business meetings? Do you schedule your kids' parties at their friend's house? Do you schedule that gym class? Uh, you know, there's a lot, or that tennis match or whatever. We do schedule things in our life that are important. So this is where you need to decide, is writing important enough for me to make time and plan in advance? Because if you say, yeah, I'll just find that extra half an hour uh, before work and then don't actively get up earlier and move things forward to make that time, it won't happen. And this is where you really need to put it in. So I have a recurring schedule. Um, in the morning, I go to a local cafe and write, and that's really important time for me and I schedule it in and I do it. And you have to turn up for that appointment with yourself. You have to take it that seriously. Um, and then I guess in the end, it just comes down to how much do you want this? Because I know that many people want to write a book, but really, do you really want to write a book? Do you really want to finish that and say, I made this? If you do, then you will give up other things in order to make that time. Another thing that might help with the scheduling is deciding on a deadline for yourself. Now, this can be very hard when you're um, maybe not motivated by deadlines, but if you don't set something, then this may go on for years. You will frequently meet people who have been writing the same book for years. But if you say, as I did when I first started writing uh, my first novel, I said, okay, I'm gonna have my book out by my birthday. And I started writing sort of 18 months before that. So it was the second birthday. Uh, but basically I said, okay, I'm gonna have my my book out on that day. Um, so this was March uh, 2011, I was gonna have the book out and I made it in April 2011. So by having that goal, I then worked backwards. So the question is, if you're gonna write, um, let's say a 70,000 words novel and you can write, let's say a thousand words in an hour, it's gonna take 70 hours to make a rough draft. And remember, that's just the rough draft. So um, how will you fit in those 70 hours. Uh, will it be, you know, one hour every day for 70 days? So that's, you know, two and a half months. Um, or will it go a bit longer? So once you kind of figure out how long things are going to take and you schedule that time, you'll be able to see the steps that will get you towards your goal. So finally, it really comes back to the reason behind why you're writing. What is the why that is driving you to the page? What is the pain you're running from or the hope and the dream that you have that will get you there at 5 a.m. in the morning or late at night or before work or eking out those pages. And for me, it was really a realization back in the day when I had a day job <laughs> that I was just so miserable and I needed to change my life. And I had this burning need to be creative, to put something out in the world from my brain and not have everything I did just blown away and, and disappear uh, into the wind as such. And so for me, it really was this desperate need to reinvent myself as someone who was creative, an author, uh, a life that I really wanted. And I can tell you now, you know, sort of years after I made that decision, uh, that you can change your life. And if that's your goal, then you literally, you can start by setting some time in your schedule and sitting down and writing. So for me, making time has been the most worthwhile thing. You know, I couldn't be living a creative author life without it. So I hope that's motivation for you. I hope you now go and schedule some time and get in your writing and uh, yeah. So thank you for listening today and subscribe to the channel because I do uh, these tips every week. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and happy writing and I'll see you next time.